with me. I did switch this last minute, so didn't get time to plan. Anyways, I'm doing card games, and like Jackson asked earlier, we now have the answer to how many people play card games. <laughs> okay, and Teddy, I'm going to call you up later for one of these card games. You know it all too well. Okay, so first point is strategy of the game. So for blackjack, which we've all played before, you draw two cards, well, the original blackjack, you draw two cards, the house or dealer has to draw one face up. The one I got is a 10. Kings, queens, jacks, and, yeah, kings, queens, and jacks are also tens. Aces are ones or elevens. Now, Hayden, can you come up here quick? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, you have those two cards. The trick is not to let your opponent see which card you have. So, you fold them. He showed me the cards on accident. Hand me those. Okay, let's try that again. This would be easier if we were sitting, but we don't have chairs right now. Anyways. I messed up myself. Okay, so. Trick is not to let them see your card. If you wanna try and keep a poker face, don't give any hints. So, he goes first. He can say hit or stay. Stay self-explanatory. You don't gain any cards. Hit, you gain a single <laughs> card, but you can go as many times as you want with that. So, hit. Busted, I got 23. He got 17 or 7, whichever one he wants. So he won that game. Now this can go on and on and on, but we're just going with one game for now. You can return to your seat. So the strategy with this is you have to know how the opponent thinks. So if you really want to, you can try to trick them out. If you go first, you can say hit once. If you have, let's say 17. Now they can think you have either more or less. One way to make them think you have more is give subtle hints. Have this smirk on your face. You know, make it look like you're going to win. They'll get worried and they'll draw more. If they draw more, they have more of a risk of busting. So, next game, Teddy, come on up. This is a game we both know all too well. Egyptian rap slap. game works is you have five cards. You have an extra pile over here which you can draw from. So the game works like this. You draw one card, place it face down. Now if you get two cards of the exact ah, of the exact same type, you can hit it and those cards are yours. Now like what just happened, he drew three, I drew a two, he drew a three. When that happens, you can do the same thing, they're yours. So, ah, so those are his, since I accidentally slapped, and I have to play again. Now you have to be fast thinking with this. 
If you're not, you're going to fall behind, and if you have multiple people playing, it gets to become a hassle. Like I said, you have to be fast thinking or they're going to get the upper hand. Now, the more cards you have, the more of a chance you get of winning. The more people there are, the trickier it gets. So, why don't you want to come up here and try? Okay. Teddy, guys over there. Actually, hold on. Let me see this. There may be a joker out. Though. No, there are no jokers in this. I checked beforehand. Teddy, guys. Okay, so, you draw one card at a time until each of you have five. Yep. Don't look at your cards. Now, the trick with this is, again, you have to be fast. So, again, three main points. One is strategy of certain games like blackjack and this. Second point is rules of the game. Second, or eh, not second. Third is how you actually play the games. I'm done. 